Hey, and welcome back to Emlyn in the Mix, where we discuss things all music technology, software and hardware, recording gear, studio gear, instruments, and more. If you love that sort of thing, then you're going to love the Emlyn in the Mix podcast. Now, let's get on with the show with your host, yours truly, Emlyn. 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 Hey guys, welcome back to the Emlyn in the Mix podcast, season four, episode four. We have got a very delightful, delight, yes, I said it, delightful podcast for you guys today. We're going to be checking out the Quadra Traveler from UVI. Thanks to our friends at UVI for supporting the channel and podcast here today. Now, if you just heard the intro, you know what this podcast is about. If you're new here, we cover all things music technology, software and hardware, and of course, music gear. And for those of you who are regular viewers and listeners, thank you so much for joining me time and time again. Support link down below if you want to shout your boy a coffee, you know, all of that sort of stuff. All the YouTube things, subscribing, hitting the like button if you like today's video. Now we're going to look at Quadra as the main feature on today's show, which will be I'll have a timeline down below, which I always do. I'll put a timeline down below if you just want to skip today. If you've come here and you're like, why is this guy just babbling on about all this other stuff? I just want to check out Quadra, Quadra Traveler by UVI. Click the link down below. It'll take you straight to my overview. But without further ado, let's just get stuck into what this podcast is all about because you know the drill. Let's get stuck into it. So this first piece of news here, super exciting, comes to Melbourne comes to us from Melbourne Instruments. We spoke about this last year, the announcement of this particular synthesizer. This is by no means a cheap synthesizer. It is a desktop synthesizer. It doesn't have the keys. Melbourne Instruments, holler at your boy, hometown, shout out, woo, woo. Uh, No, sorry. I just really felt like, I don't know why I just felt like doing that. But anyway, this is the Nina, a 12 voice analog polysynth with motorized controls. Now, if you missed the podcast or the show where we spoke about this last time, this was a phenomenal piece of hardware to look at. And I just wanted to feature it here on today's show because now this thing is ready for pre-orders and will be shipping soon. And if you didn't get to check it out, this thing is absolutely phenomenal. So it's a 12 voice polyphony, fully analog signal path. And this is the cool, this is probably the most interesting thing about this particular synthesizer. Has the motorized, recallable, and automatable control panel using long lasting zero wear encoders. Hope that's true. That sounds good. With the feel and pre- precision of analog pots. So what's really cool, if you watch the little intro video here, which hopefully we can show you, I think it's here. And when you recall a preset, all the pots turn to your preset. It's really cool. I've never seen anything like it. And I think that's what made this particular synthesizer unique. Now, it is a desktop synthesizer, so it's small form. It's not going to take up too much of your desk real estate, but it is by no means a cheap synthesizer. But I guess you get what you pay for, being that it is 12 polyphony. What else have we got specification-wise? Huge voice level, filter overdrive, digital wavetable, oscillators. It's got sampling capabilities. Sorry, the text is quite hard to read. Let's just blow it up here. Deep modulation matrix, 16 sources to 27 destinations. Patch morphing for complex expressive effects. Stereo 4 quadrant VCAs with infinite panning effects. Onboard digital effects, 16-step sequencer multi-timbral, layered, split, or overlapping, and a hackable open source software built on a powerful Raspberry Pi 4 running Alk Audio OS. Now, if that means anything to you and you're getting getting your juices flowing on your nerdy synthesizerism, if that's even a word, then I think Nina is going to fill that hole. All right, so let's have a quick look at Nina here, the video. Let's check it out.
so cool. So if you did get to see that video there on Spotify or YouTube, you'll see just how awesome it is that all the pots are recallable and you can get your preset back. Anyway, that's Nina by Melbourne Instruments and it is now available for pre-order. If you have that kind of bang in your pocket there, go out and get yourselves one because this is definitely a unique piece of musical history right here. Melbourne Instruments. Check it out. All right, let's move along to our next piece of news here. I'll have an affiliate link down below for this one because this comes to us from our friends at Native Instruments. If you want to support the channel and you like what you see and hear here today, we'll have to do a full overview video on this one, but it is duets by Native Instruments. Native Instruments hitting the ground hard at the start of the year 2023, which is really cool to see. And what is duets, you say? It is a hybrid vocal and keys instrument. Multi-sampled vocals meet synths and keys for high gloss pop, hip hop, and R&B. Build expressive melodies and lush harmonies with riffs and runs and explore 151 tweakable presets of vocals, leads, basses, and pads. And part of the play series, great sounding presets and real-time controls in an intuitive interface. And that, that is one of the, I guess, key elements of the play series is that it is intuitive very easy to navigate around and just makes it very fun to play with now we can have a quick listen to duets so it's sort of from my understanding of just reading that back here duets is more or less instruments and vocals sort of mixed together and let's have a quick listen to the demo hopefully that shows that off here yeah good Awesome. That is such a good demo there. So Make It Sing Duets gives productions instant shine with a blendable collection of vocals and synths. Add sonic drizzle to your tracks with soaring leads, breathy pads, and gritty basses. Craft confident top lines with riff and run presets. Add depth with single key harmony progressions. Now, riff and run presets, I'm guessing is sort of like those sequence vocals we just heard in that demo there. Correct me if I'm wrong. And build story into your songs by triggering different words per key. With inbuilt hands-on effects, Duets has everything you need to build your next hit from scratch or add the perfect finishing touches. So it's from the same family as the Glaze and Hybrid Keys uh, Duets was built in collaboration with legendary engineers Curtis Source, Wilson, and Rochlid Holiday, probably butchering that name, sorry about that, after working with the likes of Neo, Ariana Grande, Will Smith, and Dr. Dre. And there's a quick look here if you are watching us uh, instead of listening to the podcast duets there, sort of getting in the back there, you got the arpeggiators and so forth in your amplitude and being able to just sort of change, chop and change the instrument. But... Not a bad little instrument there, little little instrument drop there from Native Instruments. They're absolutely just hitting the ground running, of course, this year. With the release of last week, we just had Valves, which I did an overview of. If you missed the show, go check that out. Valves is a freaking amazing instrument. Another one by Native Instruments here. But essentially, you're getting it's a complete instrument. You get 152 sounds and 151 presets, so a gigabyte in size. Pretty good, but from what you heard, they're blending the vocal and the synthesizer sound. Sounds really freaking nice. Now, if you want to go out and just get this because you just love this and you're going to work with this and you listen to this podcast and you're like, I need this and I also want to support you, I want to support your podcast, hit that link down below. We'll have the affiliate link up the top there. Click the link, go out and get yourself a copy of it. It sounds freaking dope. If you want to have Zeitgeisty production, 
Boom. This is the one. This is the one. I'm going to have to start making some beats on this. Damn, I'm going to have to beat you to your own game, boy. I'll start making some beats. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, probably will. In all realness. All right, let's move on. <laughs> this next piece of news here, Impact Sound Works has dropped riffage metal. Okay, from one genre to another. Now we're looking at some metal. Create a professional rhythm guitar track in minutes with riffage metal. The first in the line of loopable rhythm guitar phrase libraries, Riffage Metal contains 300 high energy unique phrases from the epic sound of doom to the head banging intensity of thrash to the basement grind of, I can't even say that word, gent. Phrases can be played in any key in a wide variety of tempos and with either a production ready amp sound or a clean DR signal a time-saving rhythm companion to shreddage. So yeah, I have uh, shreddage, which is an incredible sounding instrument. You can essentially make your keys sound like a real metal shredding guitar. Absolutely phenomenal. Now, this is a companion to that, of course. Let's have a quick listen to some of the audio demos here. And I'm interested. I know this is gonna sound good because it's Impact Soundworks. They do a really amazing job on their sample. Let's have a quick listen. to another one thrash bin here we go <laughs> that's amazing Nice. So I'm going to just stop it down there, but you get the idea of what is included in this amazing sample pack. And you get 300, let's just quickly have a quick overview of the product info, 300 killer guitar phrases. You can play them in any key and they're double tracked amp and DI channels, beautiful wide UE, tag browsers, control effects, rack and mixer, and multiple tempos. Now, it does require six gigabytes of disk space. It's a massive sample pack, of course, four, four gigabytes of RAM. And you want to have, um, you know, one of the latest machines, Apple M1, Intel i3, or equivalent CPU. Now, it does work in Contact Player 6, so that's good for those of you who haven't upgraded to Contact 7 yet. And, yeah, definitely worth checking out Riffage Metal. There's a walkthrough here. We won't play that back. That's probably going to be quite long. But Impact Soundworks, bring in the goods. And I'm mixing it up here. We're not just doing, you know, house or hip hop. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm old school. But we do metal too. We do metal. <laughs> All right, let's move along. This Actually, this next piece of news was just simply because I didn't get to show you guys last week. I don't think I had it up here on the screen. I just spoke about it. But we spoke about the release of Quantum, the Quantum Mark II. Now, this comes to us. Thank you to... Big shout outs to kvraudio.com. Go check them out if you like to read about music technology news. They got your back covered. I do need to give them a shout out where credit is due for posting this because I wasn't even, even able to show you last week on the Waldorf website. I couldn't even see the Quantum Mark II, but I was having trouble because the whole website was in German, unfortunately. So... Anyway, my cat is actually, just as we're doing this podcast, trying to smash through the door there. We'll see what happens. Makes things interesting. But I didn't get to show you this. So now, if you are watching us here, I can pull it up. And it looks amazing. So if you are listening to us and you want to see this, make sure to head over to Emlyn in the Mix on YouTube so you can check out today's show and view what I'm talking about. But essentially it just looks like the Quantum, but this is of course the Quantum Mark II. They've changed the color skew here to sort of like this navy blue. But this synthesizer always looked amazing and I just more or less wanted to show you guys. And it has slightly different, I think maple wood sides, maybe they changed the color 
But I do like this color scheme they've got going for here. I actually really love it. Now they're gonna they're only gonna make a few of these units as well. And this is already an instant future classic. Now I don't know if they've got the just from looking at this, I don't know if they actually have the number of units. I think it was only like 500 or something, which isn't many. Let's jump down, see if we've got any more notes on that. So the updated mechanical design and classy naval blue presents a musician and instrument of beauty and inspiration, says Waldorf. The improved mounting of the high-resolution touch display provides wider viewing angles and an intuitive way of controlling and more advanced features of the quantum synthesized engine. That's right, they did... They actually did update the display, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so they've updated, you've got updated display, you've got updated memory, and you've just got an overall overhaul of the actual look. Anyway, very cool. There's only, I guess, a few lucky people who will be able to go out and afford that. I know I've been doing some very expensive hardware on today's show, looking at some very expensive hardware. Those two synthesizers I've showed, shown you are going to put huge holes in your pockets. But they're also instant future classics, which what I mean by that is they're sort of like, they're, these are musical history pieces, like what I'm showing you today. Those two hardwares that I've shown you, I know they're expensive, but they're sort of like, if you can get your hands on them, they're sort of like, they're pieces of musical history, right? They're of phenomenal craftsmanship. Like we're talking about world class here, you know what I mean? Waldorf Quantum 2, let's have one more look quantum mark two sorry let's have one more look here yeah it is just to look at not only the sound of course it's not about the look but isn't it amazing how sometimes an aesthetic it's interesting because we work in the world of audio but these companies are going to sell us stuff right and just by getting something to look aesthetically pleasing can almost make you want the device more than you need it even for its sound i gotta say i'm a sucker for this that's that's for sure. But there it is. Got to show you in them, which is I'm happy about that. Thank you, kvraudio.com. All right, let's move along to uh, today's feature. Here we are. It is the Quadra Traveler. <clears throat> now, we did talk about its release last week, but now we're going to get to show you this instrument. And I love showing off UVR instruments because they're so intuitive and so easy for me to just show you guys how to use them. So quickly before we jump over to our live demonstration, however, I want to just quickly, what is this synthesizer about? I want to tell you, multi-instrument and sequencer designer. So creative four-layer morphable instruments with advanced sequences, up for preset library offers instant inspiration across many styles and created selection of sounds from world instruments to synthesizers. So get inspired by sounds from around the world Quadra is a powerful four-part multi-timbral and sequencer designer ideal for the creation of dynamic rhythmic and evolving sequences, utilizing a blend of regional instruments from around the world with a curated selection of synth sounds. And Quadra leverages a powerful instrument selection, deep factory library, focused and intuitive workflow, and expressive performance control to deliver cinematic sound quality and near endless musical inspiration. Quadra is a versatile instrument capable of a wide range of sounds and uses from standard rare instruments to evolving complex and adaptive progressions and harmonizations that can be morphed and performed in numerous ways to suit the needs of your production with a masterful selection of hundreds of professional lead design presets quadra offers incredible sound quality and near endless inspiration on demand so hopefully that explains it in a mouthful of course but i think the best way to show you is for me to just jump over here to our live demonstration and just make sure we've got some sound coming through oh yeah there it is there let's jump over to our live demonstration here we go so i got the plug-in up the instruments here quadra traveler now when i first heard of the release of this i didn't actually realize I don't know. I mean, I guess it's in the title and name, but I didn't know it was going to be four instruments playing at once. I know I am silly. Yes, of course, Quadra for Traveler. But I also thought this would be an instrument that isn't suitable for me. I, I just 
don't find myself using world instruments. But one thing I've got to say is that being that it's UVR, of course, they've sampled these beautiful instruments and they've made this incredibly intuitive interface. In fact, this is probably one of the more complex of all their intuitive in interfaces. I have to say that I probably definitely, sorry, will, not probably, I definitely will use this instrument in my productions because it sounds so freaking good. So I've just been checking out, if we jump over here, so we pull up our presets. So we've got Quadra Traveler. Now you've got these different types. You've got Cloud, you've got Realistic, Picked Motion, Woodwind Cycles, Hybrid Organic, Electronic, Heavy, Experimental, and Instruments. Now on today's show, I, I'm only going to show you a few presets. I'm not going to go through every single preset because that would be boring, but just to give you a taste of how this instrument actually sounds. And we're going to start with cloud and we'll go down. We'll go through all nine here, a couple of presets in each. Uh, but let's start with Arctic Arpeggios. It's got a great arpeggiation on board. And I'll just play it back here just so you can get a taste of how it sounds. How nice is it? So you can hear the four instruments are going at once and they've got arpeggiation going on as well. Now you've got this beautiful X, Y in the center here, which allows me to just morph between each instrument. So I'll just show you that quickly, holding down a C on the arpeggiation. So that's our Sansa keys. Kalimba box over here. Karimba sustain down the corner. And this really nice hand pan drum percussion thing. And pop it in the middle all together. See? And get this lovely, sort of almost complex, especially with the arpeggiation, really complex sounding instrument sounds really nice actually i i honestly didn't think it was gonna be like this I, when i first heard it, i was like oh world music instruments okay blah 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 but this is not no this is more experimental and fun so this the cloud presets sort of have some i guess more chilled sounds i'm guessing on that actually i'm not gonna lie so here we've got a vocalish a greek strings a congery plucked and a chacked Guitar, of course, I'm going to butcher these names. There's too many world instrument names for me, but how good's that sound? And we've got sequences going. Super nice indeed. Now, because it is UVI, and I did say before I started playing, this is super intuitive, right? Is that the thing that makes it super intuitive is just these interfaces that UVI creates. So let me just quickly show you. Let's navigate around really quick. We'll go from the top to the bottom, and then we'll go back to the presets, okay? So this little blue icon in the top left here is sort of like representing the overall interface with the center being the XY pad, but I can go into each individual instrument. So for example, A vocalish here, and I can even just from here, if I press A, now we're looking at this instrument, I can even just solo that instrument, right? Now, it doesn't appear to have an arpeggiation on, but I could simply, we go from sound to up here, and I can turn it on. Yeah, so I can, I can select different presets for that particular sound. Or I could just have no priest, uh, no priest, or no arpeggiation on, turn the preset off. So we just got an instrument here. And then we go back to sound. And of course, we can play with the amplitude, the filter, pitch. You know, mess around with it. Unison, spread. Um, you can even detune it here. 
And then you got your expression down here, which we can play with, and your effects, of course, as well. So you've even got like a phaser, for example, which kind of really mutates that sound. But what's the reason I want to show you this is you can go into each individual sound. You got the four there, A, B, C, D. Turn their each individual arpeggiation on or off. Solo, I can mute particular instruments. So if we unsolo A, we're going to be back at all four instruments here. And I've made it sound terrible, of course, because I've de-pitched that particular instrument. Now let's just choose a different preset. And at the end, so we're back here on the four, but at the end here you've got the effects. So you've just got simple effects, or very nice effects, sorry, but simple interface is what I meant to say. You can actually turn the reverb right off, turn it right up. just right off or right back on turn my decay right up how good does it sound honestly can't get over how good it sounds we're, we're still just looking at cloud all right let's move along to realistic and see what we've got here let's jump over to just a random preset on realistic and it's going to pull up the instrument here so we've got a modeled kalimba log bamboo drone finger and mibra nyangi i apologize if i'm getting these names wrong but these are just not familiar instruments for me how good does it sound so we've got a lot of arpeggiation going on here. Sounds so good. And one thing we can actually, we will talk about in a second is that you can actually, what's really cool is because it's so intuitive to use, right? For example, I can solo A, right? And then I can change the arpeggiator preset here. So we sort of, so we're getting a different rhythm. And then let's say we bring back in the log bamboo. So you've got two different sort of rhythms going, right? And we could even just change the rhythm of that, or you could have it the same. So you've got those two instruments playing the same, right? Or we could change it up. See, I like that. I like a bit of a variation in the rhythm. Then we could solo instrument C, which is the Jerome finger. Now we've got three sequences going. It actually sounds pretty nice, very rhythmic. I think we'll leave that and then we'll bring back in D or essentially we can just unsolo it so it's everything. That's good. You got a little syncopated on that Mibra Nugiani. Can't say it. But what we could do is, I do like that. I probably wouldn't change this, but we can go into our presets for these arpeggiators and on this particular instrument. I do like that syncopated 16th that was going already, but let's just put something random in here. So for example, you got complex, we could do X bling and let's see how that sounds. Ooh, I'll solo that so you can hear it. Bit quiet. What we could do is we can go into the sound here. Let's turn it up a bit just so you can hear it. Whoa, that's nice. That's so nice. All right, let's bring all the other instruments back in. Come back to our main panel here. So you can see really easily and really simply just by messing with each individual a preset of the arpeggiator on each individual instrument, we can get really catchy sequence where you've got, I didn't think this was going to be even possible before I got to check out this instrument, is that you've essentially got four different sequences on four different instruments. Now that is, that is really cool in my mind because you can really make 
amazing variations and really out there and really create something brand new. The other cool thing I like about this instrument is just the overall being able to turn off the arpeggiator. If you just want to go back to single notes, it's really simple. You just press this on off button, on off button here. Now we're just back to, like if you just wanted to play, that's got a bit of an Asian-y sound or Japanese even, like a kato, I hope I'm saying that right, kota, <laughs> one of those. But it just, it just sounds so much better with the arpeggiators on, doesn't it? With that crazy rhythms we got going. All right, so hopefully I've shown you a complete overview or sort of a navigation around this instrument. Sorry, I'm going back, just checking we're still rolling in there. Let's go through some more of these presets. So we're looking at realistic there. Let's check out picked motion. So we're going to pull up picked motion here, pulls up those sampled instruments, and let's see what we've got here. How good is that sound? All right, we'll go through one more here. So good. I know I say this nearly every time, but UVI have, they have outdone themselves with this instrument. This actually reminds me a little bit going back to the days when I had my Casio, my Casio keyboard and it had inbuilt sort of rhythms and they were nowhere near as good as this. But just what, I guess what it reminds me is that how far, you know, technology has come and UVI have done an incredible job sampling these instruments and getting these rhythms and these amounts of variations being able to play in here is just extraordinary. All right, well, we'll just, I guess we've got to keep going through. You guys want to hear. So this is Woodwind Cycles, Blossom. Uh, again, it could never do like a full show where I'm showing you each individual podcast. I mean, honestly, you'd be here for hours. So here we got Woodwinds. Nice. I'll play a bit of a chord. Amazing. All right, so these are all going to be wind instrument presets, but gosh, they sound good. Again, I didn't even know we had wind instruments on here. What's this Alphorn staccato? Let's have a listen. God, I, I can't say these names. That it's the only thing. Arabic flute as well in here and a pan flute staccato. Here we go. Nice. Interesting sequence. back to single notes let's have a listen so that's that thing wow it sounds real like it sounds like it's the person's playing it here wow Wow, it doesn't even sound like I'm playing that. I'm playing a, on a MIDI key keyboard here. So here we got this Arabic flute. It's got a bit of delay on it though. That sounds beautiful too. And I want to hear this thing. I'm not even going to pronounce it again. What is that? I've never heard that before. All right, I'm loving these. Let's just do one more because these are incredible. Really incredible. That does have a sequence on it. 
All right, let's go to hybrid and organic. Banjo Storm, gotta hear Banjo Storm, have to. And then we'll get into the more experimental stuff next. Banjo Storm, let's go one more in this collection of presets. You have four banjos going there, by the way. So now we've got some more. What do we got? Viola, piano, and two guitar -y instruments. One's a 12 string. Ooh, a bit of sitar action. Let's turn the arpeggiation off. How. That's even that's pretty nice. That's the 12 string. Charango muted. We got a piano. Piano gome. What kind of piano is that? And then viola. Plucked. Pizzicati. Just fantastic samples. Just I, I don't know how they did it actually. All right, now we get, let's get to electronic. Let's see what's going on here. If you wanna make some electronic music with this, I guess you could. Pizza chords. See, this is what happens. If we show you all the presets, we're here for ages. Okay, here we got some more synthy stuff. So it's not just world music. You can make a trance track with this. Sounds great. Nice, sounds really good. So you got this sort of synth. There's these two synths, and then they've mixed it in with some world instruments like that handy pan thing and this whistle. And together you get this. Nice. All right, listen to one more electronic, then we'll go to experimental, and then we're out of here. Let's have a look. Lovely. All right, let's just jump along to... The last one here. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna skip a few. I, I'm gonna be real with you. But let's just check out experimental, and see what we got. Doom City. This is the one that caught my eye here. 100% on Doom City. Let's have a look. Whoa. That is definitely Doom City. The next one sounded funny. I've got to have a look at this. Froggy, what was it? I mean, it's an experimental. Froggy food. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this, <clears throat> this particular sound, this set preset here, could definitely, I could hear this in a Netflix documentary. <laughs> okay. Oh man. All right, we're gonna, we have to finish up. We, we're going too long. We're going overtime here for you, for you guys. Anything? Quadra. No affiliate, by the way, but UVI did give us the opportunity to check this instrument out. So shout out to UVI. And this is one incredible instrument, I have to say. Look, we could spend all day going through these presets, but I've shown you pretty much all the different categories here. Cloud, realistic, pick motion, woodwind cycles, hybrid organic, electronic. The only one we didn't look at was heavy, but you get the idea. I mean, then experimental, and then you got the instruments themselves here. You get the idea. This is a work of art. Like this particular instrument has everything you need to make any style 
And it's the fact that it has the world instruments as well as a bonus. I mean, that's what it's based around. But they've they've not only it's an innovative instrument. I would dare say that this is a innovative instrument, of course, blending the four. But the fact that you can change each individual sequence, I got to hand it to you. If you are, they've outdone themselves again, and this one in particular, they do a really good job. And we've spoken about UVI so many times on the channel. Do a great job on their sample instruments, not only the sample instruments, but just the intuitive. Because this this particular concept of blending the four could have been an absolute mess. Like it could have been a very complicated and convoluted instrument. But no, UVI managed to work out the best way to do it. Yes, of course, use an XY. That seems pretty easy. But then there's other complications like each individual instrument. How can you edit them? And then they've done the ABCD and the effects at the top. Just make it so easy. And then the fact you got the arpeggiators as well and the individual sequences, man, outdone themselves. Seriously, I could go on and on for days. Anyway, we really have to wrap it up because we went super over time, but that's what I do for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the podcast today. I hope you enjoyed this instrument. Go out and get yourselves that. What do you think of all the other things we spoke about in the podcast today? Are you going to be getting yourselves the Nina? If you do, please let me know. I will be super jealous. I'll be, no, I'll be happy for you. I'm not going to be jealous. That is a freaking incredible instrument. Play series, link down below for duets. If you liked what you heard, you liked those vocally synthy presets, you're going to love duets. What did you think of Riffage Metal? Did I hit the right bone for you there? Is Riffage Metal right up your alley? Maybe it is. We don't really cover many guitars on this show or guitar sampled instruments on this show, but there you go. Riffage Metal, one for you, down for this particular season. And what do you think of the Wall of Quantum Mark II? I know we spoke about it last week, but it was great to see it here in the flesh. Are you getting one? I would like to know that as well. And lastly, UVI Quadra Traveler. Shout out to UVI. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. And with all of that, I'm out of here. Peace out. We'll be back next week, of course. Peace out. Boom. Hey, thanks for listening to the Emlyn in the Mix podcast. Here, you will find all the latest in music technology, software and hardware, interviews and more. Also, don't forget to check out the Emlyn in the Mix YouTube channel today. Till next time, keep it real.